This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm Gat. Welcome back to Miles Edge, where face attorney investigations, prosecutor's path, everybody! Guess what? I think we're at the last part of the Inherited In Turnabout. Part and part three. three, we just finished Logic Chess against Gustavia, and now he's giving his testimony mm -hmm. on, um... Oh yeah, him cooperating with Dover. <laughs> Sir Dover do, and I cooperated do, do, until the finals. Do, do. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the desert. It's supposed to say design. Uh, did, did he? Does he have a tattoo on his hand? Yeah, of a seahorse. Of a seahorse. Wait, yeah. didn't we have a seahorse thing? Where he made the like seahorse, and he's like, it's supposed to be a dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's. Right. <laughs> so Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. <laughs> you never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? You're gonna get, like, <clears throat> slapped in the face, bro. Ooh, it's like pizza. What do you think of this? Hmm? That's the symbol of Zane Fa. Wow, a phoenix! That's really good! Whoa, you really have improved these past 18 years. <laughs> Behold the fruits of my 18 years of training! I've put my life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dover 18 years ago, up until the finals. Yeah. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. So, you were really serious about the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef? Yes, confectionery is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But back then, I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the better chef. But your goal was also to obtain the Angel's Recipe, right? Wouldn't the recipe book be worth more to you than the title? Mm. I will not stand by and watch you badger a convalescent convalescent man like this. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. Gah! I realize he's still recuperating, but... Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to this devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue your testimony. Really? That seems convenient, she just butted in there. Oh, my room! <laughs> I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. Completely? So, you helped Mr. Dover with his dessert, but you made yours all by yourself? No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why didn't Mr. Dover assist you? It matters not how it seems, it's the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove if someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. Hey, Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If it did, I'd have already stolen Mr. Edgeworth's spotlight! There's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies for myself. Dane Gustavia, please continue with your testimony. Yeah, this is when we needed that lie detector from, uh, <laughs> The Magatama? From, no, no, the lie detector from... The Apollo? No, from... Guilty Party. Oh. Where it's just like, they're lying. It's <laughs> oh, like, wow. Oh. <laughs> I like the guilty remember? party thing where it's like, give them the money so they talk. The bribe. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if the flavor of my great. entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. Was it? Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? <clears throat> Nothing of the sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. Really? Then, was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? Did Mr. Dover make the salty sherbet? Yeah. So maybe he also had a taste disorder. He's, and he was like, How many people have free people have taste disorder? It's a big case. No, maybe maybe it was like, try my like dessert. And like <laughs> Sir Dover was like, oh, it's good. It needs a little bit more salt. And then they were like, this is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a complete waste, waste of, of taste buds. And it's saliva. <laughs> <laughs> he accidentally used salt instead of sugar. That could totally be. Except then it wouldn't freeze. I guess that's true. I don't know 
how that works. <laughs> he used an industrial See, freezer that can even freeze See, salt at water. first, I thought the reason that the sherbet was salty was because there was a human body in there. And so, like, the blood... But they tasted it before. But they tasted it before, and they said it was salty. I don't know. I've never had sherbet. Sherbet is not salty at all. It's not salty no, at all? No, not at all. What does it taste Unless like? Unless it's like Kingdom Hearts. It's, it's like... It's kind of like sorbet, I think. Just fancier. With milk. Yeah. No, and Kingdom Hearts is like the salty ice cream. Products. I want to try that. <laughs> we can make it. Nerdy Nummies yeah. has a recipe. How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? <laughs> hmm. I'm not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the, the, the topic? <laughs> Ask about the semifinals, Mr. Dover. Ask about Mr. Dover, because maybe this will prove the whole thing with the taste bud disorder. Oh, you knew Mr. Dover before you entered the contest, right? Yes, I knew him well. Sir Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. Then, it wasn't a coincidence that you both participated in the contest? I heard about the contest, so I made the suggestion to Sir Dover. Which is hilarious to me, because I feel like, why would he make this suggestion if he knew he had a taste disorder? Who? Gustavia. Why would he be like, let's gamble together and go Well, because to... Gustavia knew that if he won, that he would be able to cure his taste disorder, and he also well, yeah. did want to be the world's greatest. He did. Okay. But, like, why did Sir Dover say yes? Was it like- We're getting to that. He always wanted money for his sculpting business. Maybe he was, like, poor. If I recall, Mr. Dover was a greedy man who was always after more money. Ooh, so the angel's recipe's really worth that much? Kay, the recipe book was certainly valuable 18 years ago. But nowadays, most of the medicines it contains are available commercially. Oh, that's a shame. In the end, it seems that each of the con contestants had the angel's recipe as their goal. All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields and my father gathered. I wonder if he's uh, cured his taste disorder now. I would assume so. All right, uh, don't change the topic. Ask, or ask a semifinals, I guess. So you're sure that there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. <laughs> So, you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance? I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there was no major differences between the finals and semi-finals entries. Huh? That sure is strange. That's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. I'm pretty sure both the look and taste of your finals desserts scored poorly. Then, there's no way he would have won the contest! Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize during the finals. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation, but what? Yeah, all those unanswered questions, blah de blah de blah I should already have the keys. <laughs> keys to the Camaro. <laughs> to the Camaro? <laughs> Edgeworth would not drive a Camaro, he drives Edgeworth the sports drives car. Edgeworth drives the sports car that had the... Scarf stuffed into its wind, uh, windpipe. The windpipe. The windpipe. Can you imagine if you had a scarf in your windpipe? <laughs> the muffler. <laughs> the muffler, which is a pipe. The tailpipe. The tailpipe. All right, we got prosecutor's badge. We got the IS Seven incident file, art gallery pamphlet, Winter Palace well, photo, the gas burner. Probably gonna be something like the contest rules. I don't know if there, if we have anything like that. Angel's recipe. <laughs> it's totally Larry's beauty sketch. <laughs> was, I mean, it was used more than I thought it would be. Chocolates. Cho anything from the trolley, dear? Um, nah, liquid analysis report. No. Statute of limitations kids book. <laughs> no. Where is it? There's nothing about the rules? We had that in the past, not in the present. That's the problem, because if we were to show it was totally different from the semifinals, aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, so Could there's... it just be the statue? No, that no, because that's like for crimes. Um, hold on, hold up. What? Show me the Winter Palace thing, because didn't it? Is this any different? 
No. From the previous one? No. no. Okay. You're on the wrong track. I'm on the wrong track. Okay. Um, is it just because they, is it because they will win the Angel Recipe book? Is that literally it? Just no, because it's no, from it's the not. finals? Okay. Um, finger fragments. Oh, duh. Um, the finals were different because there, someone got murdered. Is that just? No. <laughs> is it not that? Okay. Family photo. They always came to visit up until the finals. Yep. There was another difference between the semifinals and the finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit you up until the finals. Mm, th that is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then it was only in the finals that your flavor judged poorly. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. Ah, uh, yeah. Your son's visits must have been very important to you, were they not? A father can work miracles when his son is watching. With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustavia sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? If what he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of his desserts. A confectioner, confident in his sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. Your son came to cheer you on? Was that really all he did? You seem very doubtful, Sir Prosecutor. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. What else could my elementary school son have done besides cheer me on? He tasted your desserts. <laughs> he stole desserts from you. He made your desserts for you. Well, obviously we know which one it is. <laughs> he tasted them. But I want to see stole desserts from others. Your son stole desserts from the other contestants. You think my son would stoop as low as Lady Delicia? I see no merit in such despicable tactics. Ah, oh, that's true. I'll ask you once more. <laughs> he made them. He, it's like Martha from that one season of British Bake Off, where she was like 16. Yeah, yeah. Except big difference between 16-year-old and elementary, and like school, elementary yeah. school. Did your son make your desserts for you? My son is no pastry chef. Of course not. He hasn't even been taught home economics. <laughs> I guess it'd be impossible. Yeah, home economics. Wait, like he still hasn't been taught home economics? <laughs> yeah, because that's like taught in high school. That was 18 years ago. He's graduated high oh, school Oh, no, by now. no, I'm saying back then. Yeah. He tasted your desserts. Yeah. I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course! My son always loved my desserts. In that case, he would have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. <laughs> what did you say? Earlier, you told us that you have a taste disorder. <laughs> I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your desserts tasted correct. <sighs> Ah, I see. Mr. Dover's dessert was made the day before, so it still tasted good. <laughs> what are you saying? What you are saying is quite amusing, sir, prosecutor. You say my elementary school son t assisted me as a taste tester? You are insulting my pride. Um... Your pride? It's true, I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son? Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture. You upstart. Man, that was kind of like Francisca yeah. for a sec. In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm my theory if it's mere conjecture or not. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. What? 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 After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zepha immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son! Jeez. What?! Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son? That's not all. 
Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. The police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any traces of him. Hmm. What? I'm thinking of who it could be. You wish to confirm your theory? <laughs> I welcome you to try. Who is- did Gustavia have a last name? Or is, is it just like Chef Gustavia? Dane is his first name. Dane Gustavia is his Gustavia. last name. I'm trying to think of like, if they had a character where they were like, This is his son, like from a previous- From a previous like, game? Or a or previous case. case? It could be like, his son- well no, his son looks- his son has black hair. His son has brown hair. Brownish black hair, yeah. Yeah. I was like, maybe he's that wimp dude from the, from the circus animal case. <laughs> that wimp dude? That wimp dude. I can't think of his name. <laughs> Simon? Simon! <laughs> Simon, I'm like, all I remember is just him being like... <laughs> <laughs> You're basically like, who's a random person we've encountered? Wimp guy! <laughs> wimp guy. I don't know who else. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just laughing at my stupidity. Maybe we just haven't met his son yet. <laughs> we meet him in a new case later. <laughs> Desserts are the only things that are important to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Jeez. Order in the court. Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he's a good father. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories. Ugh. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? Is that all that you say, Kay? <laughs> you always say that at yeah, every basically. time. Yeah, basically. Like, <gasps> oh, no. Kay's kind of not important in this game. <laughs> not at all. Honestly, <laughs> even in the previous game, it's like, oh no, Kay could die. It's like... Who cares? Oh, no. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> At this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, where are those results? I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right, I leave it to you, Detective. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who that blood belonged to. Miles. There's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. Was Mr. Gustavia's the only reason for coming to this art gallery to check on the body? If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he wouldn't have needed to open the case. That's right. Is there a way we can prove this? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir! Just the person I was talking about. Oh, Kate's been here? And Larry's still yeah, on. Yeah, everyone's here. <laughs> it's Smash Ultimate. Detective Gumshoe. Everyone is here. <laughs> I trust you have the test results. Uh, what? <laughs> of course, sir! I just got the report back from the lab! What if... What if his son is the best? The <laughs> <laughs> best? <laughs> that would be so bad. Um, the best is 17. It happened 18 years ago. What if... Nope. <laughs> what if he lied about his biography? <laughs> I'm actually 20, but I say I'm 17 so that I don't look as dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Dover. Isaac Dover is just dead. Oh, man. Oh, I never said that, but it's fine. Okay, well, you took him on time. <laughs> uh, please be silent. So, this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edgeworth was talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? This is the first time I've heard of it! Um... This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene! Mr. DeBest, I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but how about we hear his report first? <laughs> um, sure. Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? Here's the report, sir. The traces of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belong to... The victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavia. What are you saying? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> we too would like an explanation. 
What on earth does this blood prove? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this blood is something the culprit of the IS-7 incident tried to conceal. Uh, it, it can't be. That's... This blood was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. What? Why would Mr. Gustavia's blood be in a place like that? If you intend to remain silent, then I'll reveal the truth myself. In the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood? And only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. Come to think of it, I remember Miss Delicious saying the same thing 18 years ago. Oh, yesy! His sherbet was the most delicious! Really? I wish I could have eaten some, too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It was a part of the lie. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Exactly. For some reason, salt had been mixed into the liar. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detected in the liar come from? It came from the rock salt lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was both kidding and not kidding when I said what that. What else word. would it have been? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I was like, a rock salt lamp. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> the guard. <laughs> oh, these are all the coins in the water coins. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite guard voices we did. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded so funny. <laughs> this is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the IS-7 incident. I believe part of this rock salt lamp was mixed in with the sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. But not the other one. We know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderous lamp, however. There were no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene, Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed of all that desserts with traces of blood into the streams of all water, right? All them desserts. All them desserts. No other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. <laughs> Speaking of which, weren't the two rock salt lamps found in Miss Delicious's room also broken? It looks like both of the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both of their light bulbs are broken. I forgot. <laughs> you forgot about bad? <laughs> or you uh, forgot they were both broken? Both! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were dropped on the floor? We never did figure out why the other rock salt lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavio's blood was on the other lamp. No. Too bad we don't have it. If your blood was found on the lamps at the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me he concealed it in the sherbet, liar. Exactly. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the sherbet liar and hidden inside the glass case. Ew. So someone ate his blood, yeah. Was it Delicia? And Master. Master's like. But Master couldn't good. taste it. He's just like, it all tasted like sherbet to me, because he can't taste salt. Right, and then, like, Miss Delicia's just like, mm, whatever. No, she's like, I can't eat this. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. Meanwhile, she's on the other side like, oh, I, <laughs> ate sh I ate sherbet blood! Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. But then, the reason Mr. Gustavia came to the gallery... Eighteen years ago, the body and the evidence pointing to the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery's grand opening. Dane Gustavia, isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the IS-7 incident! Monsieur Gustavia, you are the reason Monsieur Masters! <laughs> He's just laughing. Mr. Gustavia, could it be, after all this time, my crime is finally brought to light? 
That's fine. The prosecutors and the defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. That's because you- Bravo! Bravo! Well done, sir, prosecutor. You know why? <laughs> because we had Ron Karma on the case who was like, I must have the perfect record! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so you admit that you killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> it is true. I killed Isaac Dover. I killed Mufasa. <laughs> but he had only himself to blame. You'll have to make sure to put in the in the video that there are Lion King spoilers in this. Lion King is like over 20 years old at this but point. But then they made the new one. And what if people haven't seen Lion I, King I don't. You know what? It's on your own head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back! What? Sir Dover, this isn't what we agreed to. I'm sorry, Gustavia. The deal is off. What? But I made your desserts for you! I'm the reason you got this far! And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Dover, you! You were planning to betray me all along! Dover sounds a little bit like Manny Coach. <laughs> that might be intentional. That's okay. They're both related. <laughs> They're the same person. <laughs> They're like literally the same person. <laughs> because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make my finals entry on my own. It's just as Sir Prosecutor said, my son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? Also, why did his son just give up on him? A proud chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. That's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert in making is my reason for being. It is my one and only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride. That's another feeling I will never understand. To say nothing of abandoning your own son. Such a thought disgusts me. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On the day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in that as well. Well, let's go hang out at the park. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. So in other words, this dude probably kidnapped his son. He's like, oh, where, where am I? And then the guy died. Yup. And then and the kid's hanging. still kidnapped. <laughs> but maybe. maybe the kids hang out together. The kids? Oh yeah, because he was friends with Dover's son. He was son. friends with Dover's son. Who That's looks true. like Boomy. <laughs> Boomy? <laughs> he does. <laughs> From what I hear, he's still missing. That's awful! Giving up on him like that! Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes. And since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Sir Master's room. I just needed to take a photo of the cure to my taste disorder. It would have all worked out. If only Dover hadn't interfered! Ah, Gustavia. Wait, I love this photo. <laughs> Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? That hardly seems sporting. Y you! Cure for taste disorders? Oh, you have a taste disorder, don't you? Ah, this is rich. A pastry chef who can't taste. Dover, you! Gah! Puny worm, you are in no position to oppose me. Why you? What kind of a person is like, you have a taste disorder? That's hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's so bad. Like, as terrible as Gustavia is, I think Dover's worse, personally. Oh yeah, Dover, Dover is like Manny Cochin, so... Yeah. <laughs> when I attempted to hit Dover, he struck me and sent me flying. What is this, Smash Bros? <laughs> I crashed into one of the rock salt lamps, and that was when my blood stained on it. So Mr. Dover wasn't the first one to be injured. To conceal my blood, I shaved away part of the rock salt lamp, then mixed it in with the sherbet. <laughs> Luckily, I brought my electric la razor with me. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I'm like, can you imagine if, like... Thank goodness I wore my red outfit so my blood stain doesn't show. <laughs> can you imagine if, like, they're having afternoon tea, and she comes by and he's just like... Like, shit. Uh, it's for my dessert. <laughs> This is, so this is my rock salt lamp! lamp. <laughs> it's for my dessert! <laughs> this is so weird! After that, it became a part of the liar sculpture. <laughs> so, that's how you tried to erase your traces from the crime scene. Dover tried to blackmail me by using his knowledge of my taste disorder. 
If I didn't want it to become public, I was to pay him a large sum. Who cares if it could becomes public? All you have to do is cure it and be like, boom. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, that, that's I mean, like Dover's a... still a colossal crud butt, but... Oh, yeah, he totally is, but, like... <laughs> so, that's the reason why you killed Isaac Dover. <laughs> exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? Wow. He was the one who drew first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. <laughs> so that was his motive. I carried the rock salt lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. Then I came up with a hiding place where it would not be easily found. I get it. That room contained plenty of tools for sculpting Sherbet. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shave away the rock salt. I then proceeded to coat the surface of the Sherbet's gold liar in vast amounts of the salty mixture. But why? Why did you try to pin the crime on Monsieur Master? You are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. If not for your unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would never have been a suspect. Why do you think I hid the murder weapon in fluorescent cloth in Lady Delicia's room? There's only one reason why you'd place a murder weapon in someone else's room. You wanted to pin the crime on Delicia. Name! Me! Yes, that is correct. Gusty, why? Why me? As one who sought to be the world's best confectioner, I greatly respected Sir Master. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him. But an insolent woman who dared to sully the contest with fake desserts- I was about to say, that I- Not that I'm gonna commit a murder, but if I'm like going to pick a crime, I'd be like, man, this girl like sucks. <laughs> like, can we just put that on her? Wow. I had no problem letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. I'd be more likely to do that than, like, Mr. Master. Who <laughs> just sings and makes desserts for kids. Yeah, I would watch that. <laughs> like, I need that TV show on TV, therefore I'm not gonna put the crime on him. I would've been like, Dover killed himself because he couldn't win. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's... That makes me sad. If you hadn't snacked on other people's desserts, the body would never have been found. It was when Sir Master would be judging Lady Delicia's room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body, but... Before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Why did you need to freeze Monsieur Dover's body? Why, indeed? Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us. Why would Monsieur Gustavi have needed to freeze the body? To disguise it as an ice sculpture to throw off the time of death or to create a fake t crime scene. Well, the fake c crime scene was in Dover's room, right? Didn't didn't he throw the body in that room with the he, sculpture? With the sculpture, yeah. So that wouldn't make sense to make a fake crime scene, right? Well, maybe he needed that. Could it be all of these? Like, every single one? The reason Mr. Gustavi froze the body... It was probably to create a fake crime scene. Uh, fake crime scene? <laughs> that face. <laughs> she has no pupils. Judge Courtney's icy glare is so cold, I think I'm going to freeze. Hmm, it seems I was mistaken. Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us the truth this time. Um, the time of death makes zero sense. That's right? actually what it is, yeah, though. Yeah, it is, though? Mr. Gustavia throws the body in order to disguise it as an ice sculpture. Huh? R really? Mr. Edgeworth, Miss Hall looks like she's frozen solid. Hmm. I'm sorry. Seems I was mistaken. That's it? Really? <laughs> wow. I feel like that would have been bigger. Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to throw off the time of death. If the time of death had coincided with the tea party, Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. Oh, right. <laughs> that is correct. Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. While I was preparing in Dover's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. I could think of no better hiding place at the time. But thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke. But why did you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there would be no time to throw off the time of death. To buy time, you needed to hide it someplace else. How horrid. How could you hide Monsieur Dover's body within one of his own works? 
It would all but, have worked out if the body hadn't been discovered while it was in Sir Master's room. They have to try every piece. If everything had gone according to plan, Sir Master would never have been arrested. So, because I discovered the body, it's my fault Monsieur Master was. Kate, don't take his words to heart. Even if suspicion hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Miss Delicious would have been taken the fall. No matter who we targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavia himself. The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also a dunce. To think that he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor Von Karma indicted Mr. Master without knowing the body had vanished? I see. That would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. Although, it's something that would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? Oh, heck yeah. At any rate, Mr. Von Karma found out about the missing body after he had made his indictment. And if he had let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect record. That's why he concealed the fact that the body was hidden and had Mr. Master declared guilty. W what are you saying? Listen, lady! I don't care about the PIC with all of the- Oh, we have all the rules and the, the law! <laughs> and the Capri Suns! And the Capri Suns! Everything is safe! <laughs> this is slowly turning into, like, bossing say that there is no war. Here <laughs> there is no safe. corruption in the prosecutor's office. <laughs> Here we are safe. It's like, no, there are, there are tools like him out in the prosecutor's office. She's like, oh! Uh, what are, what oh, you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> For 18 years, that man has taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? <laughs> I don't care what you say. What a monster! I'm arresting him right here, right now, sir! Overruled. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that will be impossible. He gets to go away free. <laughs> right, so you figured it out. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? But the culprit is standing right in front of us. <laughs> Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. It all began with a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> why you can't arrest me. me. It has been 18 years since I murdered Dover. But didn't he go train? In Zainfa, yeah. How long? Yeah. Like seven years? Because if that's the case, then... He's done! <laughs> He's done! Lock him up! The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me! I only confessed my crime because the statute of limitations had expired! <laughs> but we know. We know! The statute of limitations for murder is 15 years! Mr. Edgeworth. Is there nothing we can do? And is there nothing else that you can say? <laughs> we should have a counter for how many times that she says that. Is there nothing we can do? But she 20 says times. So, she says it so much in the first game, especially. She's just like, what are we gonna do? Hey, Mr. Like, Esworth, I'm useless, like, except for the like cell phone Trucy. I have. Yeah, she's got a cell phone. Trucy at least bailed us out of a Trucy few jams. Trucy bailed us out with, like, Mr. Hat and her panties or whatever. But, <laughs> and but, she helped us defeat Wesley Stickler. Yeah. That has, <laughs> the yeah. most heinous villain of all. <laughs> he stole underwear. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> nah. As long as the statute of limitations remains, arresting him is impossible. No way. My sincerest apologies, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Neither Mr. Gustavia's testimony nor your logic can be taken as official legal proof. I just realized what I've been trying to make Courtney's voice act. What? I've been trying to make her sound like Umbridge. Him him! <laughs> him him! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Naughty children deserve to be punished. Yeah, like, that's what <laughs> that's I just realized. True. I've been trying to make her sound like that. She's... Umbridge from the movies, not Umbridge from the books. <laughs> Umbridge from the books has no sound because it's text. She's supposed to be ridiculously high-pitched. <laughs> I'm Umbridge. I'm Umbridge. Oh, no. She looks like a toad. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they, they describe her as looking at, like a toad in the books. Which I guess explains the gal in the movies. Although, she's... She doesn't look like a toad. It's the it's the facial shape. Hold on. We're about to end the episode. Oh, is it like, you drink water? Yeah, drink water. Wow, you have Eat alarms for drink... Crunch. Eat crunch. <laughs> the verdict of the trial 18 years ago cannot be overturned. What? What about the fact that Mr. Dover's body was hidden? Even if we can't arrest Mr. Gustavia, this should at least earn Mr. Master a retrial. Really? I wonder.
wonder about that. Overturning a verdict of the goddess of law is much harder than you think. Was the PIC trying to justify the verdict from 18 years ago? <laughs> How unfortunate, Sir Prosecutor. PIC, you suck. Yes, they do. Is there nothing I can do? Is there no way to continue pursuing Mr. Gustavia? Look at the freaking statue of limitations. We'll have to figure that out bottle? next time for the final episode I just of him, Case 3. I just called him a bottle. He is a bottle. With so. minus the L.E. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next episode, we finish the case. And we'll get to see what the title for Case 4 is. That'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's on a train. I want a case on a train. Like Paper <laughs> Mario. Just play Paper Mario, because that probably won't happen. Mm. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.